Welcome, this is Gary McCord and David Ferdy from EA Sports. The Harbortown Invitational is widely regarded as one of the top tournaments of the year. You'll have to play well as everyone tends to gear up their game for this exciting event. Right down the middle, nice swing. David, what's the situation? About 110 yards to hole here, Gary. This looks good, should be safely on the green. Finds the cup for a birdie there. Long hitters can reach the green in two if they keep the drive on the left side of the fairway. Otherwise, the second shot should be positioned down the left side to open up the green, which lies on a diagonal for the third shot. smoke this one right down the middle Very nicely done. Eagle now. That is just unbelievable. Your first double eagle. And for that, here's a trophy ball. Trees line both sides of the fairway, necessitating a straight shot from the tee. A large bunker guards the front of the green with three more positioned to the right. A medium to short iron should get the job done, but the small green can be hard to hold. was masculine. He's right on target with this shot. Tom? For birdie. Five under par for the championship.
There is ample room on the right to bail out, and a hidden bunker behind the green can save your ball from a hungry lagoon. This approach looks like it'll catch the green. Gotta hurt. Five under par for the championship. Aim just to the right of the left fairway bunker, then calculate your odds of making the green in two. The obstacles? A massive strategic bunker to the right, water and a greenside bunker left. A deep but narrow green falls off to the right and rear. Nice swing. about the distance here. No, uh, it's, it's about 230 yards. Boy, you don't see many people make the green in two here. Great job. Set up nicely for an eagle attempt on this par five. Devilishly difficult to master, this dogleg par 4 requires a precise drive to the middle right, just left of the fairway bunker. Take advantage of the open avenue to the flag and try to avoid the bunkers flanking the green. down the fairway. That's where this is heading. It's heading for the flag. Ah, you've got to love that. That's fantastic. For a second birdie in a row. If you hit this straight, it's not going in. Eight under for the tournament.
The green is surrounded by sand, but the real hazards here are the trees. The green is narrow but deep, and pin placement can affect club selection. for birdie. A well-placed drive is essential to avoid water and the strategically placed trees. Carrying the dogleg past the first two pines gives you a shot at one of the most elusive greens anywhere. surprised if this one goes very close. Should be a makeable punt after this one. The birdie will help here. It usually does. your leader. Placement is more important than power on this short but deceptive par 4. Drive to the middle of the fairway and avoid battling trees on your approach. The heart-shaped green is protected both in front and behind by sand. is heading in the general direction of the spinach patch. I'll tell you what, David, why don't I take over? Ladies and gentlemen, that ball is in the fairway here. Watch this one take off to the right. A wide landing area invites a big drive, but temper your gusto if you want to avoid the lagoon on the left. After a good drive, use a medium or long iron to get to a green nestled between woods and two strategically placed bunkers. He just made a statement with that swing.
Well, I think this one will be on the dance floor. Not shabby, not a great shot, but we're cutting. This will make it three straight birdies. Twelve under par for the tournament. Plot your drive to stay within the chute because a dangerous duo of trees and water lurks on both sides of the fairway. From the fairway, a long to medium iron must be rifled to the green, carefully avoiding the tree, gracefully protecting the right side. This is just a humongous drive, way out there. David Ferdy, what do you see? I think we've got about a hundred yards left here. Right on target. This for four straight birdies. Reaching the dog leg off the tee is imperative for any chance at par. Then the green is in range with a medium or long iron, but a back pin placement can make as much as a three club difference. Two bunker stand is the final challenge. I think this is heading for the green. Fourteen under for the tournament. The tee shot here must be positioned to the right of the fairway to set up the approach to the green. But don't score your par until you've surmounted the final two obstacles, a large cypress banked bunker and a natural bunker just behind the green. That ranks right up there with some of the best tee shots I've ever witnessed.
This should be all right. On the green, at least. This for six birdies in a row. David, give me a read here. I'm having trouble with this one. Okay. It'll go ever so slightly to the right, I believe. Just hang it out on the left edge, and it'll be fine. Fourteen under for the tournament. This is a beautiful aquatic layout with water from tea to green on the right. Thanks to overhanging trees, the green is a small, isolated target with an adjacent small pot bunker. This will end up on the putting surface. under for the championship. This great par five demands careful deliberation and shot execution all the way from tee to flag. To avoid nightmares on the approach, keep the drive from the tee as close to center as possible. This will save you from the fate of water on the left and the bunkers on both sides. This is a tough record to beat. But if you find a way to make eagle here, you'll steal it. He'll be pleased with this. This could be tough. Uh-huh. A long way away, 230 yards to the flag. Should be safely on the green. This is fun to watch. Going for Eagle on the next shot. For Eagle. What an Eagle. The exclamation point of sand just about says it all on this interesting dog leg left. Avoid the left. If you arrive unscathed after that first drive, it's just a short iron to the green. Aim carefully. The cluster of bunkers to the right can easily humiliate par seekers. This is the way to keep the ball in play. What a beautiful looking shot. Now that's what you call being on target. This for three straight parties. Bravo! It's a well played birdie.
Water, water nearly everywhere says one thing. Take that bold iron shot and make it accurate, or else the head or crosswinds, which are the norm on this hole, can easily carry a shot into the lagoon. No, oh, this could find the rough. Actually, 30, that's what we call the fairway. Hey now, this would be four straight birdies. A word of advice on one of golf's most spectacular finishing holes, the long approach to the flag offers ample bailout to the right where the innocent looking but insidious mounding has caused many a wannabe champ to lose a sought after par. He's all over this one. On target today, hitting every fairway. I can't be certain. But this looks like it's heading for the rough. It's find the rough. David, tell us what you got. Well, he yanked this one pretty well offline, but the ball's here and sitting up nicely, so no harm, no foul. Thank <laughs> you. 